After this man started taking a popular food supplement, his health took a dangerous turn. Jim McCants sat next to his wife on a momentous occasion for the family. Kathleen looked at her husband and asked, do you feel okay? He felt fine. After all, he'd recently turned 50 and was on a health kick. But his face told a different story. Unbeknownst to McCants, a health supplement was rapidly killing him. The McCants were in their youngest son's university auditorium to watch him graduate. It should have been a time for celebration for the family from Prosper, which isn't far from Dallas in Texas. But as Kathleen looked at her husband, her excitement turned to deep concern. She could tell by looking at him that something wasn't right. As Jim McCants himself recalled to the BBC in October 2018, Kathleen said, do you feel okay? I said, yeah, I feel fine, why? But what his wife saw didn't look fine. She said your face is yellow, your eyes are yellow, you look terrible. When I looked in the mirror it was shocking. It had been a big night for the couple's son. After all, graduation is a once-in-a-lifetime event. So the proud parents stayed around to celebrate their son's huge achievement. But McCant's appearance soon became a cause for considerable concern. So, a short time after the ceremony, he sought medical advice. Doctors, too, were concerned about McCant's health. They immediately checked him into the hospital, worried about the condition of his liver. Though they knew something was wrong with the organ, his health care team were unable to determine what was causing the issue. You see, McCants very rarely consumed alcohol. For the last 30 years I drank maybe a six-pack of beer a year, no wine McCants explained to the BBC. So alcohol was not a big part of my life. Indeed, alcohol consumption is one of the leading contributors to liver disease. But since McCants hardly ever drank, doctors ruled it out as a factor in his liver damage. McCants, in fact, was generally in good overall health. He had never smoked in his life, and he'd even been free from prescription medication when he was admitted to hospital. And on top of everything else, McCants had been on something of a health kick since reaching a milestone birthday. McCants was 50 at the time of his youngest son's graduation. Turning 50 is a big landmark in many people's lives. It can also be a time for individuals to reflect upon where they are in life, compared to where they want to be. Well, that's exactly what McCants did with regard to his health. My dad had a heart attack at age 59, and he did not make it McCants recalled to the BBC. There's a lot he missed out on with us. And I was determined to do what I can to take care of myself as best I can, so that I don't miss out. At the time, McCants was making his living in the financial sector. But on reflection, he perhaps felt a change was due. His intention was to gain a new qualification as a doctor's assistant. But his career path wasn't the only thing McCants wanted to change, so his attention then turned to his health. McCants made further changes to his lifestyle. His goal was to drop some weight, so he started making more healthy choices in his eating habits. He also amped up his exercise regime and often went for runs or long walks. Doctors then looked towards other factors which might have caused his liver damage. But, as McCants recalled, then my hepatologist drilled into, what about any over-the-counter supplements? A hepatologist specializes in, amongst other things, the health of the liver. So, if anyone was going to have an idea of what might have caused McCants issues, they would. But how could health supplements do any harm? As it happened, McCants had heard about the health benefits of green tea. In particular, he was intrigued by how good it's said to be for the heart. Indeed, packed with antioxidants, some believe green tea is among the healthiest drinks available, aiding weight loss and decreasing the likelihood of developing cancer. In fact, there are many known health benefits of green tea. For instance, it's rich in caffeine, so it can be a healthier morning kickstarter than coffee. Furthermore, the effects it has on the brain can enhance concentration, moods, awareness, speed of reactions and memory, which in turn improves productivity and brain function. Some people may experience an increased metabolic rate after drinking green tea. As such, it's a useful weapon when fighting fat. And with caffeine's supposed ability to enhance physical performance by more than 10%, it's no surprise to learn that green tea is an ingredient in many weight loss supplements. Green tea is packed with high-performing antioxidants. As such, the beverage can play a big part in protecting cells from harmful impairments that can cause cancer. Indeed, some studies have shown that green tea drinkers are significantly less likely to develop breast, prostate and colorectal cancers. Adding milk to green tea, however, may lessen the potential benefits. Green tea may also provide the brain with protective qualities in later years. The drink contains compounds called catechins, which have shown defensive effects on neurons in laboratory tests. It's thought, then, that there is a chance it can shield the brain from neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's.
Catechins have other protective qualities beyond opposing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. For instance, tests have found that they may also kill bacteria and reduce the risk of flu or other infections. Taking green tea might also improve oral health by protecting teeth from plaque, consequently preventing tooth decay and improving bad breath. Green tea might also significantly reduce chances of contracting type 2 diabetes. However, due to his father's earlier passing from a heart attack, it was perhaps the drink's properties in maintaining heart health that McCants was most interested in. So, he added a green tea supplement to his weight loss program. I felt fine then McCants recalled to the BBC. I was walking or running 30 to 60 minutes, 5 or 6 days a week. He was also focused on his career change from finance to healthcare. He added, I was taking two or three classes at a time at nights and at weekends. People have consumed green tea for many centuries. And today, in fact, millions of others enjoy its benefits through supplements. McCants himself had done so for up to three months before he was taken ill. Having heard nothing but positive advantages about green tea, he was shocked by what doctors told him. Doctors believed that the cause of McCants' liver problems were the concentrated doses of green tea in his supplements. As he described, it was shocking to hear because I'd only heard about the benefits. I'd not heard about any of the problems. Furthermore, it could be that green tea's most lauded compound is also its most dangerous. Green tea contains a compound called epigallocatechin 3 gallate EGCG. Among the tea's strongest elements, certain studies have shown that EGCG is effective in treating assorted diseases. Scientists believe it could be the ingredient that provides green tea with its myriad of medical benefits. However, its most powerful weapon could also be its most destructive. Professor Herbert Bonkowski serves at North Carolina's Wake Forest University School of Medicine. For almost two decades he has studied green tea-related illnesses. As he explained to the BBC, if you are drinking modest amounts of green tea you're very safe. The greater risk comes in people who are taking these more concentrated extracts. However, Professor Bonkowski conceded that the dangers of EGCG may lie as much in genetics and the circumstances under which green tea is consumed as in the compound itself. As he put it, usually people are taking these green tea extracts trying to lose weight. So they're often not eating. We know from animal studies that fasted animals absorb a much higher percentage of the catechins than do fat animals, Professor Bonkowski explained. There may well be other factors of other drugs, other chemicals, use of alcohol, that are also important as modifying factors. But regardless of the reasons, McCant's apparent reaction to green tea was extreme. Doctors admitted McCants to the hospital, where he was then placed in a holding pattern. Tests were followed by a wait for results to determine how serious his condition was. Finally, around three weeks on from his son's graduation, doctors finally learned how grave a situation McCants' health was in. As McCants recalled, my doctor said you need a liver transplant. This has to happen fast. You have days, you don't have a week. Understandably, McCants was rather shocked by the news. So, perhaps even more, than when he turned 50, the father's thoughts turned to what was important to him. I was thinking this looks very bleak for me, McCants described. That really crystallizes what's important in life. I wasn't there thinking about projects at work. I was thinking of different people that were important to me for different reasons. Such thinking was not unwarranted. After all, finding a transplant match often takes months. This was time McCants simply didn't have. Most people who supplement their diets with green tea extracts do so with no problems. However, reportedly somewhere close to 80 cases have been recorded in which consumption of the tea in its concentrated form has resulted in liver problems. Yet age doesn't seem to be a factor in these incidences, with patients ranging from 17 to 81 years old. However, scientists are unclear as to why green tea is harmful to certain individuals. You see, across the United States and Europe, supplements are classified as foods rather than medicines. As such, they are not subjected to the same rigorous testing as drugs. Therefore, their effects are not fully known. Nevertheless, the European Food Safety Authority recently conducted a study of the health effects of green tea. The agency ruled that its catechin compounds were generally safe, but when concentrated in the higher doses of supplements may pose health concerns. Ultimately, only further research will determine what dosage is safe. McCants, however, got lucky. He received a follow-up call the day after his devastating news, doctors had found a matching liver donor. I was elated, McCants described. The phone call that there was a match gave me hope that there would be something positive on the other side of this for me. Doctors believed that McCants' green tea supplement was responsible for his liver illness. In that light, 
he filed a lawsuit against a company that produced it. As he explained, I'm hoping that they make the decision to put a very strong warning label on the product, on the website, let people know the dangers before they buy it. However, in April 2019 a jury in Florida ruled in favor of the supplement's manufacturer, a company called Viticast. This group was cleared of claims it had been negligent in warning consumers of health issues that could arise from consuming green tea in concentrated form. The defense, however, argued that studies showed no unreasonable risk from taking their supplements. Nevertheless, McCann's attorney argued, is it proper just to bury your head in the sand on this? You're not giving people full, informed consent about what they're getting into. And you're not giving them information that may be able to allow them to stop taking it if they show early signs of liver damage. McCants is certain he wouldn't be here without his liver transplant. However, five years later, he still feels the effects of his illness. Kidney disease is now an issue, which may need dialysis or even a further transplant one day. He has regular checkups on his liver and kidneys, and he suffers severe pain in his abdomen. Furthermore, McCants' medical bills soared throughout his illness. His attorney asked for an excess of $6 million to cover the costs in the court case. And he also fought for more to account for the suffering and pain the ordeal caused McCants. But, having lost the lawsuit, McCants continues to struggle on. My life before was pretty active, McCants recalled. Now it's much more sedentary and I struggle with fatigue. It's a small blessing that he's still able to work, with sympathetic bosses allowing him to do so from home. McCants explained, I may need a lie down for 20 or 30 minutes during the day. McCants reflected on his decision to take the green tea supplement. As a warning, he said, I didn't expect harm. I expected that I might waste my money, I may take these, and they don't do a bit of good. I can accept that risk. But the risk that it could cause my liver to fail 1F3 for somebody to take.